welcome back. You want to do something that's very scientific? Stay tuned. I have the time of my life. Something like that. I'm having the turnips of my life. And never could. It's way too cold to sing that song. This bed. Solomon's Gold. The Steve Solomon micronutrient mix. As you can see, they look pretty good here. We've looked at this multiple times. I don't think I should pick the largest turnip. Never trust a huge turnip. I'm gonna pick a, a medium turnip. There we go. Put it in there. And let's pick a radish. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> that was bigger than I expected. Wow. Okay, so we have a radish and a turnip. Wow. Let's go look and see what they look like from the lasagna bed. Try to pick a comparable turnip. That looks pretty good. And, holy cow, <laughs> these things are big. Something was already chewing on that one, look at that. Wow, that's, those are freaky. That's, that's almost disturbing. Okay, so this is the alfalfa bed. That was the lasagna bed, alfalfa bed. Let's pick a, this, this turnip looks about right here. You stay there. Keep growing or not. There we go. And let's pick a, let's pick a radish. Whoa! Okay. Good. Moving along now. <laughs> These other beds. Like, like I, I guess I could try and get one from the, let's do one from the 10, 10, 10 bed. Why not? Let's see what we have here. There's a radish. Oh. Huh. And, and there's a turnip. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, we'll find a basket for those. I have one. All right, biochar. Let's grab a, grab a radish here. Hey, look at that puppy. Look at that color. That's gorgeous. All right. And we have very, very nice looking turnips in this bed. Look at the mycorrhizal fungi growing on the base of that. Isn't that interesting? Plants and fungi together. Okay. Now we got one more here. Let's see what we've got in the worm castings bed. Hey, that's not bad. It's not as huge, but these turnips are a little sad. Let's Pick the largest one so it's as comparable as we can get. Ten, ten, ten. Alpha. Solomon's gold. My poor wife is shivering. Can you guys see the camera shaking? It's cold today, it's too cold. I'm wearing my, my, my tropical hat just to warm me up. Worm castings. Bye. 
biochar. Let us get inside before we die. Yeah, yeah. In this Pinterest postable repository of compostables, when you're done recycling, you know it's toast postable. David the Good, oh, it's so blog postable. And his herb chicken is mad slow roastable. So let me hear the Pinterest ladies go. Let me hear the Pinterest ladies go. We have everything sorted here. We peeled the turnips, we sliced the radishes, worm castings, lasagna garden, alfalfa meal, biochar, 10-10-10, and Solomon's gold. <laughs> lasagna garden, 10-10-10. I think we needed some organic matter. All right, so let's try the worm castings first. That sounds delightful. Castings. Okay. Do you want to eat some worm <laughs> castings? Salad radish. Johnny's hybrid Red King radish. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Not mean. Not zippy. This is a very it's pleasant good. radish. Yeah. Very nice radish. I think we should probably eat less. I that was just thinking. Oh, holy moly. Like Alright. <laughs> no, should... Some of these might have a bite to them and we'll be wishing we We should go right from the worm castings radish Good to idea. lasagna radish. If we, if we just taste do the all chunk, the we have no idea. All right. You're right. These lasagna garden radishes have a green hint to the centers. I don't know what that means. I, does that mean it's chlorophyll. It's I think they were bouncing out of the ground a little bit and then greened up. Okay, so I guess we'll find out. There is a little bit of zip now, like an aftertaste zip to the worm mm -hmm. castings one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is a harder radish. That's nice, crisp. And it's more biting. Not maybe because the radish has gotten bigger and injected itself from the ground, but they were planted on the same. But same it has thing. more flavor, like an, like an all around. It does have more bite, but it also I think has a more flavor to it. It does have more flavor. It depends on what you want it out of your. The worm castings one's really mild. This one's yes. burning me. It's cooking in. It's it's zippy. Keep chewing. <laughs> I got a lot to go through. I don't want to chew too much, but I think it has a more <laughs> rounded flavor, more of an all-around radish flavor, where the worm castings one was a little milder. It does, but the texture is not as good. The texture is not as good. Okay. Okay. Alfalfa. I'm going to just cut these pieces smaller and smaller. <laughs> How much radish can you eat? These radishes are huge. Mm -hmm. I should have weighed him. Yeah. Hmm. It's crisp. Mm -hmm. Not very strong flavor. No. I'm going to put it between the worm castings and the lasagna garden as far as a, a zippy flavor or a full flavor. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's good. It's a ple pleasant radish. Okay, let's try the biochar. Are you gonna do this in the in the in the summer with different peppers? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> We planted reapers in 12 different beds. <laughs> oh, 
Mmm, good texture. Mm hmm. Good flavor. Mm hmm. Best so far. This one is kind of sweet. Mm hmm. It is sweet. The bricks level has got to be higher. I like the crunch. It's got a. Maybe it's got a little burn to it. Like you can, a there's a little bit, bit of burn, but it's. But it's it's, it's juicier too. It's mm -hmm. juicier, but but still dense enough to be crispy. I remember this biochar was soaked with Dynagro, so it's right. got the sixteen extra good. nutrients in it. That is that is, that is my, very good. My yeah. favorite so far. Yeah, that's that's really good. All right, ten ten. Look 10. at this. I'm afraid of this. A look at look right here. This is <laughs> Solomon's gold. Steve Solomon's mix, 10, 10, 10. Yeah. That's funny, okay. Let's see what a 10, 10, 10 radish tastes like. Mm. It's earthy and more zippy. Pretty it's zippy. got more burn to it. That one is that one is that mm -hmm. one's burned. Yeah, and the outside of it is more wood, almost woody. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that the outside of it? Um, that's probably the spiciest one. That's not a bad radish, but man, it's that, not a bad radish, but it's not a great that's got some, radish. Mm -mm, that, but that's got some. You know. I mean, <laughs> you do expect radishes to be zippy, it's, so I think it's almost it's it's probably the reaction to more adverse conditions. Smaller radish, struggle to grow, builds itself up with more fiery compounds. Wow. But it's still not a bad radish. It says something for the variety. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here we go with the micronutrient mix. This one has all kinds of little micronutrients and you guys remember I mixed this while on the phone with Steve Solomon. Hmm. It's mild. A little bit of zip. Kind of a little bit of a complex aftertaste. Yeah, that's that's a good way to describe it. Hmm. It it's very similar in texture to the biochar, I think. It has a nice crunch and it's juicy, but yeah. it does have something else there at the end. It's got a little more bite at the end than the biochar did. It's good. Yeah, it's good, but I think I like the biochar better. I was thinking that too, so I'm going to try the variety char again. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's high good. bricks. Yeah. Okay, so. I like that. Mm hmm. Definitely sweeter. Mm hmm. It's almost a little spicier. Mm. With a little more of a, a sulfury. Yeah, it's got like a sulfury bite coming in. It's like it goes up behind you and grabs you. Biochar is just very like nice and sweet. Okay. So is that your favorite? <clears throat> I mean, they're both really nice. What do you think? Can you maybe you can't pick a favorite? Maybe you like them both. But... You know, I'm gonna try the worm castings one again. Okay. Oh, I'll go against that one. No, no comparison. Biochar whips it. You think, what about mm -hmm. compared to Solomon's Gold? They're both really nice, they're just different. Which is, it's funny, you know, they're the, they're the same, they're the same 
Nice. Mm. The water passing is just sweeter, but it's bland. Solomon's Gold yes. has a, a, That's right. That's a true. biting full what? flavor to it. So, hmm, interesting. It is interesting. I'm going to try the alfalfa again against it. Doesn't have sweetness. Biochar wins. So fun. Yeah. By far. There's quite a variety, mm -hmm. really. Of, I mean, if I take taste. a little piece of this lasagna again. The lasagna is sweet too. But texture's not as good. Oh, it's a little harsh. A little harsher on the other end. Mm -hmm. So I say biochar first, then Solomon's gold. I think so too. Yeah. All right, turn time. Okay. I'm gonna go for a middle piece of the turnip. The variety of turnip is White Lady, and it is a very pleasant turnip, even grown conventionally. Mild. Very mild. Sweet. This is from the worm castings. Mm -hmm. Worm castings, mild, sweet, a little bland. It, I was gonna say, it really doesn't taste doesn't like have much, much flavor. of anything. Let's see here. This is the lasagna. Juicier. Juicy, sweet, and mild. Yeah. <clears throat> it's juicy and it's sweet. And of course, everything's milder after eating a radish. <laughs> Um, that's true. I'm going to cleanse my palate with some hot <laughs> sauce. All right. Let's see how the alfalfa tastes. I, I like the way the, the alfalfa ones turned out. The turnips look very nice in there. This Thank turnip you. is a pretty one. Oh, really pleasant texture. Mm -hmm. Very soft. Soft and moist. Mm -hmm. Very mild. This would be really nice to just dip Ooh. in. It's creamy, mm -hmm. almost creamy. I was gonna say like buttery. It really is. Dip this in dressing. That just would eat be it for really. A snack. It's even juicier, even yeah, juicier than the um, lasagna garden one. Yeah, very. That's a nice flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. it's, Interesting. Creamier. Did you say creamier? <clears throat> creamier. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not it's like a creamy texture. Like these two were tasted kind of sweeter. That one, the the alfalfa, I don't think tastes quite sweet. Is not like the first thing I think of, but creamier. Yes, that's very good and a good texture. Biochar. Biochar. It's denser. More crunch. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. A little earthier. Sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, I think I like the alfalfa better. It, the texture of the alfalfa one was so nice. Mm-hmm. It was really delicate. Yeah. It's got a delicate crunch to it. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. Okay. Not, not quite what I was going to expect. But it looks, it's so, like, it's almost bright white compared to some of the other ones. Yeah. The alfalfa one. It is. Interesting. Okay, 10, 10, 10. Woo! Kind of rubbery.
a little bitter, like zippy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what you think of when you think of a more fibrous. Yeah, turnips that you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. If your mom said, oh, you know, if you said, what are we having for dinner? Turnips? And your mom said, we're having turnips. And you went, oh, that's. Interesting. That's what that would be like. It's, it's not very good. Not very right. good. <laughs> Probably needed more 10, 10, 10. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Solomon's gold. Oh, wow. Texture is really good. Mm hmm very juicy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of zip at the back end. Mm, that sulfury zip coming in as I chew. The sulfur compounds are supposed to be good for your nervous system. I can feel myself getting healthier. All right. Huh. It does have more of the sulfur on the end mm -hmm. than the alfalfa did. I don't know, I really like that alfalfa one. Let's try the alfalfa again. Up against Solomon's Gold. Wow, it was so mild. All right, so let's see that alfalfa. It does not have the sulfury. It doesn't. Anything afterwards. It's which, just sort of mild and sweet. Which means maybe it's not as healthy for you. Helen's color has more crunch to it. Mm-hmm. More complexity to the flavor. Mm hmm Hmm. That's true. But I still think I like the that alfalfa. That alfalfa would make it's a great salad. Such a great yeah. flavor. All right, let's try the biochar again. No, it's good. This one and then this one. I say alfalfa and then Solomon's gold on the turnip. That's what I think. Yeah, I think I like the Solomon's Gold slightly better because I like a little of that. There's a little bit more bite to the back end. You of like it. it better than the alfalfa? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the alfalfa is really pleasant just as eating. Mm -hmm. Eating goes, but there's something kind of hearty about the, mm -hmm. the Solomon's Gold that I like. And you can see for, for size, I think the Lasagna Garden wins. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And then, then Steve Solomon's bed, and then the biochar bed would be third. Worm castings in fourth, and then it was alfalfa and ten, ten, ten. And then after that, we really didn't have enough results because of the liquid fertilizing not working out as well. Right. And to be fair, Steve Solomon says that you should use more um, organic matter in his system. So I know he's going to watch this video and. And, and he'll have his own comments. So hopefully, Steve, if you watch this video, go ahead and leave some comments on what you think about this whole comparison. But when you apply these micronutrients, it's important to have a higher organic matter content. But there was no way to properly do that right. in our test because by introducing the rotted manure, I was introducing another feeding element and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to start with soil and just add a single amendment or a method, as in the case of the lasagna beds. So we know that in these beds, the biochar, the lasagna gardening, and Steve Solomon's mix all work quite well. The worm castings work well too, but probably could have used another application. So I think that the best thing to do would be to mix them all. And to get that, that biochar for the extra exchange capacity in the soil, the lasagna gardening for the feeding, of the, the feeding of the ground, the cooling of the roots, all that additional organic matter that's huge, Solomon's Gold for all those extra micronutrients that may be missed in our biochar mix. But man, this was fun.
I hope you guys learned something. We certainly did. Just looking at those beds taught us a ton about yeah. what works and what doesn't in these conditions. So we're going to say on the turnips, Rachel likes the alfalfa the best. I like the Solomon's Gold. On the radishes, the biochar wins it. Yeah. And worm castings weren't bad, but they came in third. They weren't bad. Not enough, they weren't bad enough that I'm not going to get a worm bin, but that's for a future video. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you uh, spending a little time going through this experiment with us. This was a lot of fun, and I'm going to have to make a playlist where I put all these things together, and you can see the course of the experiment from building the beds and doing the tests and how things grew over time to this final uh, flavor test here, because this is really, this is really the key. If it tastes good, that's important. Right. It's one thing to grow a bunch of bland vegetables, <laughs> but you could, you could go to your local grocery store and get bland vegetables. When you could grow something that tastes absolutely delicious in your garden, and not only that, it's loaded with micronutrients, you're going to be healthier and you're going to be happier and you're going to maybe be able to get your kids to eat turnips. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Catch you all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Bury my rabbit beneath the cherry tree One fine afternoon Someday I know that we'll meet again On a fruit salad spoon Laid my hamster to rest last night Beneath the pumpkin vine Alright, does my hair look good? It looks better. Yes! I'm like pinging, my head is so tall I have Can to hunch. Can you tip it up? Well, then we won't you see the plates. Can't see the plates. No, you're just too tall. Yeah. This is, this feels natural. Wow. That's a good turnip. Well, the size of the stuff in the lasagna garden was amazing. I so really liked it. When you combine these two. Mm hmm. The lasagna garden is Solomon's. Yeah. And the biochar is permanent. And sticks in. Yeah. And I'll throw in a layer of alfalfa. Throw, throw, throw in some alfalfa. It's not exactly fair because I put a layer of alfalfa into the lasagna bed. Oh. And then we threw 10 10 10 on everything. Because it's cheap. Cover all your faces. That's astonishing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that was super fun. <laughs>